Good evening, everyone. I'm Lissy Bastian. Thanks for staying with us. 30-year-old Deirdre Gibson of Springfield Road, Fox Hill, was arraigned before Magistrate Samuel McKinney today on a charge of attempted child stealing, contrary to Section 238 of the Penal Code. It is alleged that on December 9th, Gibson attempted to abduct a 7-year-old who was not in her care or custody. Now, if you remember, back in April, Gibson was arrested and arraigned for similar charges when she took three, year, when she took three eight-year-old boys and a three-year-old boy. Following the April arraignment, she was granted bail in the amount of $20,000 with two sureties and strict conditions. She was also ordered to have psychiatric evaluation. As Gibson made her entry into court, she was visibly emotional. As she said to reporters, I can't believe you are doing this to me again. You are ruining my life. Gibson denied today's charges and was remanded to the Bahamas Department of Corrections and is set to return to court on February 28, 2020 for service of voluntary bill of indictment. She was not represented by counsel. No guarantee how the Ministry of Health and the Ministry of Education will combat the issue of food vendors selling sugary drinks around the perimeters of school campuses across the country, particularly in the light of the sugary ban implemented on December 1st. However, Education Minister Jeffrey Lloyd telling our news team that there are steps being taken towards finding a solution to that problem. The sugary drinks ban is on the right track with goals to affect both Ministry of Health facilities as well as local schools starting February 1st in schools. The ban is meant to promote a healthier Bahamas, particularly for young children. Minister of Health Dr. Dwayne Stan says there are expectations that have been put in place to make clear the beverages that are prohibited for consumption of young persons. The Ministry of Health and the Ministry of Education remains hopeful and is committed to the long-term goal of a healthier lifestyle in the Bahamas. Allegations of corruption is a serious charge that the government cannot and must not just sweep under the proverbial carpet, and that's the assertion of Progressive Liberal Party Chairman Fred Mitchell, who's calling on the government to investigate recent charges of corruption against the government concerning relief efforts in Abaco post-Hurricane Dorian. What Mr. Mitchell's referring to was revealed at a town hall meeting on Monday, where local non-governmental organization NGO member Ian Goodfellow of 25 United claimed there is corruption in the recovery efforts on Abaco. Goodfellow made the allegation that NGOs are challenged with corruption, adding that an NGO made a request to meet with the government to discuss the issue of corruption, but was told if you bring a suitcase with $30,000, you can have that meeting. Mr. Mitchell asserts that the charge of a suitcase containing $30,000 in bribe money is a serious charge. The PLP chairman pointed out that the government has a responsibility to the public to investigate these serious charges and report that finding to the public. Well, Prime Minister Dr. Hubert Minnis says he's made a call to the Commissioner of Police to investigate the alleged corruption. Dr. Minnis told a local daily that he has asked the Commissioner Anthony Ferguson to question the man behind the allegation of corruption related to disaster relief efforts in Abaco. Dr. Minnis added that he also asked the Commissioner to investigate, arrest, and follow through on whatever Goodfellow is accusing them of and said in absence of any information that Mr. Goodfellow provides, his comments are irresponsible and warrants an apology to the Bahamian people. You're watching JCN News. Stay with us. This segment of the news was brought to you by Alive.